Since costumes were revealed for Super Mario Odyssey, Nintendo fans all over the world have been hyped. From the memes made at Mario's expense, to the excitement behind what could be included. And now with the game out, we can finally take a look at the origins of each and every outfit found in Super Mario Odyssey. Outfits in this game are split into two different categories. Those that reference many of Mario's past appearances, and those that are original to the game. First I'll discuss the costumes with actual references, and then I'll briefly mention the Odyssey originals. First is the black top hat and black tuxedo. This references the box art of Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo, which contained remakes for all four of the NES Mario games as well as Super Mario World. The sombrero and poncho reference Kix, an arcade game originally released in the early 1980s. A version for the Game Boy was developed by Nintendo, which featured a cameo of Mario dressed up in a similar outfit and playing a guitar. The cowboy outfit pays homage to Mario's appearance in the Western Land board from Mario Party 2. The shirt and pants are made to match this appearance, as in Mario Party 2 only the hat and bandana were present. The swim goggles and swimwear appeared in the 2016 Club Nintendo calendar, where Mario is dressed up in many different outfits to accentuate each month. He could be seen wearing this outfit in the month of August. The explorer hat and outfit are a tribute to Mario's appearance in Mario's Picross, a puzzle game developed for the Game Boy. In this game, Mario is portrayed as an archaeologist, sporting the same outfit. Mario appears as a scientist alongside Donkey Kong in a Japanese commercial for the Super Game Boy, the peripheral that lets you play your Game Boy games on a TV through your Super Nintendo. This outfit comes from that commercial. Mario sports the pilot goggles when he's piloting the Sky Pop, an airplane from Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Mario only wears the headgear in this game, however, making the aviator outfit an original to Super Mario Odyssey to complete the full outfit. The builder helmet and outfit come from Mario's appearance in various artwork from Super Mario Maker. While many will probably recognize this costume from its appearance in Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U, the golf clothing comes from Mario's appearance in the Japan-exclusive game Family Computer Golf US Course and its international counterpart, NES Open Tournament Golf. The chef's hat and suit are a reference to Yoshi's Cookie. Yoshi's Cookie is a puzzle game for the NES, and Mario can be seen dressed up as a chef in the game. The painter's cap and outfit is actually a reference to two different art-related Mario games. The outfit, which features a smock covered in paint, comes from Mario Paint, a Super Nintendo game that featured drawing and music composition through the use of a mouse. However, Mario wears his normal hat in this game, simply turned to the side. The beret found in the painter's cap comes from the cancelled Mario Artist games, the spiritual successor to Mario Paint intended to release for the Nintendo 64 disk drive. Because of the failure of the Nintendo 64 DD, only four of the planned eight games were released, each of these featuring Mario with a beret. The spacesuit comes from Super Mario Land 2's Space Zone. While playing in levels in the Space Zone, Mario wears a similar spacesuit. The Mario 64 cap and suit is obviously a no-brainer, giving Mario his very polygon-like appearance based on Super Mario 64, which was Mario's big debut in 3D. The boxer shorts come from a summer 2016 wallpaper released by Nintendo of Japan and on the Play Nintendo website. While this very hip outfit may seem out of place, the fashionable cap and suit were both featured in a Japanese commercial advertising the new Nintendo 3DS. The mechanic outfit is based on one of Mario's appearances in Famicom Grand Prix 2 3D Hot Rally, which was a Japan-exclusive racing title for the Famicom. The pirate outfit is based on Mario's appearance in Mario Party 2 on the Pirate Land board. The football gear comes from the uniform worn by the Charge and Chuck enemies. While originally debuting in Super Mario World, Charge and Chucks made their return after 10 years in Super Mario 3D World. The jersey in Odyssey also sports the number 64, a reference to the Nintendo 64. The classic hat and suit swaps the colors of Mario's shirt and overalls, and this is actually how the classic plumber appeared in his early days. The Luigi suit gives Mario the color scheme of his younger brother. This suit is also a reference to how Luigi in early Mario games was simply a palette swap of Mario's sprite. The skeleton suit is the most expensive clothing in the game, costing the maximum 9,999 coins that Mario can carry. 
This outfit references how Mario turns into a skeleton briefly when being electrocuted in Super Mario Galaxy. The Doctor outfit references the good Doctor himself, based on Mario's appearance in the whole host of Dr. Mario games. The Waluigi outfit gives Mario the palette of Waluigi. The Diddy Kong costume gives Mario a costume that looks exactly like Diddy Kong, complete with bigger ears and monkey fur. The Wario outfit gives Mario the yellow appearance of Wario, which Mario isn't unfamiliar with, because he's had this costume since the very first Super Smash Bros. game. The Hakama is an outfit that was also featured in the 2016 Club Nintendo calendar, on both the cover and the month of January. Bowser's top hat and tuxedo gives Mario the appearance that Bowser takes on in the majority of Super Mario Odyssey, complete with Mario's very own spiny shell. The bridal crown, veil, and dress is a replica of Peach's wedding dress that she sports throughout most of Odyssey. And of course, Mario's top hat and tuxedo is the outfit that Mario sports during the final showdown with Bowser. The next outfit turns Mario into Gold Mario, a form which made its debut in New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. Mario gains this form when picking up a Golden Flower. The Metal Mario costume turns Mario metal, just like its very first appearance in Super Mario 64. Mario could turn into Metal Mario by acquiring the Metal Cap from the green exclamation boxes. The Invisibility Hat turns Mario completely invisible. This could be a reference to the Vanish Cap in Super Mario 64. The Samurai outfit was seen in a shirt worn by Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon during the debuts of Super Mario Run and the Nintendo Switch. This outfit was also seen on the final Club Nintendo calendar. The remaining costumes are all originals to Super Mario Odyssey, with no prior appearance before this game. First is of course the Captain's Hat, given to Mario as the Captain of the Odyssey. The Caveman outfit is found in Fossil Falls and features a dry bones skull as the cap. The snow coat is unlocked in Shiveria and is a simple jacket and hood. The resort outfit can be bought in the Seaside Kingdom and features a straw hat, tropical shirt, shorts, and sandals. The Sailor outfit can also be bought in the Seaside Kingdom and is a basic sailor uniform. The Happy outfit can be bought in the Bowser Kingdom and is a traditional outfit worn to Japanese festivals. The Employee uniform is an outfit based around the purple and yellow color scheme of the Crazy Cap Store. The black fedora and suit can be purchased in the Metro Kingdom and is the same outfit worn by the residents of New Donk City. The clown suit, um, turns Mario into a clown. That's it. And finally, the King's outfit is awarded to Mario for defeating the Brutals at the dark side of the moon. And that, you guys, is every single costume in Super Mario Odyssey to date. We don't know if there's going to be DLC. I would be super, super hype for some DLC costumes, but for now, that's all the costumes in the game. And uh, I had been so excited for this game. Right now, I'm probably, like... 90% done with the game, but I had been so excited for this since it was announced and then uh, you know the the Smash Bros modder in me was super excited to see all these alternate costumes for Mario because uh, That's the kind of costume that I like in Smash is the kind that has uh, a Very specific origin and actually comes from something and isn't just made up on the spot and so this kind of video just really seemed up my alley because uh, I've done the Super Smash Bros costume origin series and I've just been uh, Super excited for the costumes in this game, and I just figured, you know, this is a cool way to branch out while still doing something that I am known for. Uh, which brings me to a point, which is, if you guys are interested in further costume origin series from different series, uh, I would love to hear your suggestions for what games to do. Um, I've got a few in mind, but I would love to hear what you guys would like to uh, to see in terms of uh, a costume origins for a different game series, a different specific game. You know, for example, this game is a one-off. Other games have, you know, uh, so many, like the Smash one, that you have to do it in multiple videos. Um, I would just really be interested to know uh, what you guys uh, would like to see, uh, and if you guys would even like to see a costume origin series, you know, sort of expand and branch out further than it has so far. Um, so please let me see in the comments uh, if you guys would like that kind of series. Um, with all that said, I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.